Greetings and peace to you, brothers and sisters. The Word of God is a light to our path. It is our spiritual nourishment. I am Sister Rosalie. Join me in the reflection of the Gospel power today. Jesus said to his disciples, When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then in this way, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This petition of the Lord's Prayer teaches us the wisdom of sufficiency and thus helps us to grow in continual trust that our needs will be taken care of day by day by our provident Father. We ask for nothing more than today's consumption of food. Such petition arrests our tendency to project ourselves too far into the future and to get preoccupied with conserving and hoarding, so as to provide for our imagined consumption needs, which often results in spoilage and food wastage. In teaching us this petition, Jesus evokes the tradition of the manna in the desert. Exodus 16, chapter 4, 19 to 21. Every day, the Lord rained manna to feed His people as they traveled in the desert. But the people had to collect only what was enough for each day's consumption, because whatever extra they stored was bound to rot. There was no room for greediness, only trust. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as we pray, Give us this day our daily bread. May we imbibe the wisdom of sufficiency and trust in the Father's providential care. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other 
See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Celebrating the Pauline Family Year of the Word of God from November 26, 2020 to November 26, 2021 with a theme that the Lord's message may spread quickly. Yeah.